you when you start producing fl studio may look a bit daunting from time to time there's a lot going on especially with this new update and the colors it feels like you're operating some spaceship but um luckily when i started i went down the route of just watching a bunch of youtube videos and kind of just compiling all this knowledge especially with shortcuts and i promise you shortcuts are the most slept on shit ever i've watched a bunch of producers make beats and everyone kind of has their own way of going about making beats but once you know all the shortcuts it's just going to make your life easier so in today's video i'm just going to be going through all the shortcuts i use every day so i'm going to split it up into three groups one's going to be for playlist shortcuts the other one's going to be for the mix window shortcuts and the last one's going to be piano roll shortcuts but before we get into it be sure to leave a like and a comment be sure to check out the description for our website and discord and we're constantly live on twitch as well and we interact with everyone through our discord so be sure to join in so that you don't miss anything and without further further ado, let's get into the video. So starting off with the piano roll, I feel like here you can shave off so much time when making beats just because you make melodies with the piano roll. So if you know all the shortcuts and you know your way around the piano roll, you can speed run through melodies. So starting off when placing notes, as you can see, I have it on a grid. My grid is almost always online. And as I move it across the piano roll, you can see it kind of attaches to the grid. So if you want to make more like humanized notes in your piano roll, you can actually just hold down alt and drag the piano roll note across the grid. And as you can see, it doesn't snap to anything so especially when you're making like piano melodies guitar melodies it's nice to kind of have this in full control so that you can kind of add your own swing to the melody and once you have a couple of notes off the grid and let's say you don't like how it sounds and you kind of want it to be more robotic more on time you can just press ctrl a to select all the notes and then ctrl q to quantize all the notes so all of your notes will snap to the grid then this next shortcut i actually only found out like a couple of months ago and it's already saved me so much time but if you have these notes that kind of get cut off short or you kind of did it just by accident and you want them to just go on to the next note all you can do is just press ctrl a to select everything again and then ctrl l to just extend them all to the next note next up is all the shortcuts that actually affect the note so if you select any note or any group of notes you can press ctrl r to randomize the velocity the pan the release and a bunch of other parameters uh, this is nice if you kind of just want to have a natural feel on your melody another one you can do is alt and a and it actually does a little arpeggiator for you uh, this is nice if you just want to like copy over a bass chord melody or chord progression that you have and you just want some kind of top line melody or just something to back it up and uh, to lay it with this is kind of a go-to for me every time i make melodies another one is alt and s and this is your strum tool so over here as you can see if i turn the strength knob under the time slot uh, it'll kind of separate the notes for you in a strumming pattern this is just great for any instrument a new one that i saw you can do is alt and f as well which is called a flamer i have no idea if this is something new to fl studio 21 i've never heard of this before but it kind of just doubles up the note and then you can just extend where to it goes and you can change up the velocity don't know exactly what this is made for but it's something new another shortcut that i never really knew if you just want to deselect your selection you can press alt and g and it'll just get rid of any selection another one i only found out about recently is you can hold down shift and then when you drag on groups of notes it'll actually affect the start and end length of those notes so it's kind of nice if you just have a chord progression and you want to just bump it up you know a quarter bar or half a bar just to give it a different bounce it's just an easy way to do it another huge time saver for me is with the blade tool you can obviously just drag it from the bottom and kind of cut however you like but what i usually do is i hold down shift and then the blade tool can't go diagonally so it only goes up and down and another cool trick with the blade tool is you can actually do this with your right mouse as well and it'll cut off the shortest length of that note so as you can imagine this can help out a lot if you just want to make a bunch of quick cuts to your chord progression or melody yeah you just save a bunch of time another massive time saver for me is instead of clicking on your tools separately at the top here you can actually just hold down right click and scroll with your mouse wheel and it'll cycle from everything top to bottom so as soon as you get used to like little flicks that you can do from pen to knife it gets really quick when you produce anything another shortcut i feel like not a lot of producers use is by double right clicking on your playlist you can mute any notes and i feel like this is 
just the easy way to go about making melodies. You can kind of have this crazy two bar loop of a bunch of top line melodies and bass melodies. And you know, sometimes it's just nice to have a quick mute just to make sure of your melody. And just like any other thing in FL Studio or on a computer, you can select a bunch of notes and press Control and C to copy and then Control and V to paste over those notes. Another easy way to do this if you want to just repeat a bar is you can make a selection on the timeline and with Control B it'll duplicate that pattern over one bar. And just another note as well, it's not a shortcut but I think people forget that you can actually export out midis in your piano roll and I don't feel like a lot of producers actually do that. A bunch of us just make hi-hat patterns and move on to the next beat but if you actually go back to your old beats there's probably hundreds if not more MIDI patterns of melodies of hi-hat patterns maybe even 808 patterns uh, that you can kind of go back to you can use it again you can sell it in kits there's just kind of endless possibilities with it and now moving on to the playlist side of the shortcuts like I said there's a bunch of shortcuts that kind of work either way whether you're in your playlist or your piano roll so like I mentioned the knife tool same thing applies here you can just use right click to cut off the shortest end of your pattern or audio clip and stuff like copying and pasting same thing applies here and also the control B duplicate shortcut. You can also hold down Alt to make fine adjustments in your playlist, the same as you can do in your piano roll. And to quantize something in your playlist, which I didn't know you can do, you can make a selection and just click on Shift and Q and it'll snap to your grid. Another cool feature that you have in FL Studio 21 is you have crossfades and a gain knob as well, which is something new to the playlist. We didn't have this in the past, so this is just something cool to mention. And now moving on to patterns, same thing applies to it. You can do all the same shortcuts that you can in the piano roll in the playlist, but you have some extra features like you can select two patterns and select Control and G and you'll actually merge those two patterns together and to copy over that same pattern you can hold down shift and just click and drag and you can drag an unlimited amount of copies if you want to and then another cool feature for your patterns especially when you're making loops is if everything's in one pattern you can just go to the pattern selector here at the left right click on your pattern and go to transpose and you can actually plus or minus the pitch from anywhere from 0 to 12 so you can pitch it down a whole octave if you want to or pitch it up in a whole octave it's just nice to have if you kind of want to just go through different keys to just see what fits best with the loop another shortcut i feel like every producer needs to know is by splitting your channel which basically means if you have a bunch of instruments or drums on one pattern you can go to this little arrow at the top and then go to split by channel and this will separate all your patterns for you another shortcut i've been sleeping on for a minute is this drop down menu by your audio clips or patterns i usually always go down here and click on make unique I use it every day but you can actually click on this and just select any letter that is the start of the word and it'll instantly just jump to it for you so if I select M it'll instantly make it unique for me without having to actually go down the menu it doesn't seem like a big deal but it does save some time and lastly we got the mixer shortcuts which is going to save you so much time when you're working with artists starting off if you just want to assign a random sound or audio clip to a mixer track you can just go under your channel rack and select it and click on Control and L and it'll assign it to the nearest one that's empty. The shortcut has saved me so much time in the past. If you have a mixer chain, whether it's for vocals or for anything, and you want to just copy it over to make some small adjustments to it and put it on a different sound, you can just go on your mixer track and right click on it. And then under file, you can go to save mixer track state as. Just click on that and then you can drag and drop it on whatever insert you want to copy it all over. And you can also do the same thing with a single instance of a plugin. So let's say I only want to copy over the reverb i can just go under the drop down menu go to save preset as and do the same thing just drag and drop it on whatever insert you like this next one is more a tip than an actual shortcut but i feel like buses are super underrated in fl studio i think in every other door they kind of always push you to use buses whether it's in tutorials or just in the actual ui with fl studio you don't have buses off rip you just have a bunch of inserts that all just links to the master and with my preset i actually have an instrument bus which has up to five have instruments that links to that one bus and that bus links to the master and then i have the same with my bass and with my drum bus and what this does is it just gives you more control over your mix especially if you're doing vocals and you do a bunch of harmony stacks or a bunch of backing vocals uh, it's kind of nice to have all of those vocals or sounds linked to one mixer track another big tip i'd say to look out for when you're mixing or doing whatever with the effects is just be careful of your order that you have it placed in in fl studio and i think in most doors your plugin will read from top to bottom so from slot 1 to slot 10 so if you do a vocal chain or whatever just be sure that you have all your stuff in the right order um, everyone kind of has their own process to do it but yeah it's just something to look 
look out for. And that is about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. Once again, be sure to leave a like and a comment and check out the description for all our socials. And yeah, I'll check you guys in the next one. Thank you.